we will study the pathological features of small vessel vasculitis which include microscopic polyangitis Wegener's granulomatosis and Cherk Strauss syndrome before we move to the details of each of them individually let us compare them in a single table and this table or diagram will be greatly helpful for you to comprehend the difference in all types of small vessel vasculitis so see that first one of these is microscopic polyangitis the main feature of which is necrotizing vasculitis necrotizing means fibrinoid necrosis and in vasculitis itis means inflammatory cells so for microscopic polyangitis the key point is necrotizing vasculitis second disease is wegener's granulomatosis in which addition to necrotizing vasculitis there is presence of granulomas see the word wegener's granulomatosis itself contains the word granuloma so in addition to necrotizing vasculitis this uh, there is additional feature of granulomas the third disease is Cherk Strauss syndrome in which in addition to necrotizing vasculitis and granulomas there is presence of eosinophils so you can appreciate that these three diseases make up a spectrum of disorder in such a way that one additional feature occurs at each subsequent level and you can remember the order of this spectrum as acronym MWC M stands for microscopic polyangitis W stands for Wegener's granulomatosis and C stands for Cherk Strauss syndrome this is a spectrum in such a way that microscopic polyangitis contains necrotizing vasculitis Wegener's granulomatosis will show necrotizing vasculitis plus granulomas and in Cherk Strauss syndrome along with necrotizing vasculitis and granuloma there is presence of eosinophils so I hope that difference between these three types of small vessel vasculitis is clear by now and now we will discuss each of these in details now we will see microscopic polyangitis in details grossly microscopic polyangitis manifests as thickening of vessel wall at the level of small vessels for microscopic features we already discussed in the comparison section of small vessel vasculitis that microscopic polyangitis shows necrotizing vasculitis necrotizing denotes fibrinoid necrosis so you will see fibrinoid deposits and necrotic material and vasculitis denotes transmural inflammatory cells that are neutrophils, monos monocytes and lymphocytes transmural means that these inflammatory cells will be present in all three layers of vessel wall that are tunica intima, tunica media and tunica adventitia so you see fibrinoid necrosis and transmural inflammatory cells infiltrate now one additional feature which we didn't study in comparison also needs to be noted and this feature is presence of fragmented neutrophils in post capillary venules fragmented neutrophils in post capillary venules due to this presence of fragmented neutrophils in post capillary venules in cases of microscopic polyangitis it is also known as leukoclastic vasculitis so in microscopic features of microscopic polyangitis overall you will see fibrinoid necrosis transmural inflammatory cell infiltrates and fragmented neutrophils in post capillary venules and remember that you will label these changes as microscopic polyangitis only if it affects the small sized vessels now the second type of small vessel vasculitis is Wegener's granulomatosis and we will study its microscopic features first the keywords to focus in Wegener's granulomatosis are necrotizing vasculitis with granulomas necrotizing means that there is fibrinoid necrosis vasculitis means inflammatory cell infiltrate because itis stands for inflammation and granulomas means granulomatous inflammation with giant cells so you will see fibrinoid necrosis inflammatory cells such as neutrophils monocytes and lymphocytes and granulomas with giant cells now for gross features i have taken this picture from pathoma which is an excellent source for pathology review in this diagram which is some sort of mnemonic you can see a c passing through this figure the upper limb of C passes through the upper respiratory tract where the narrowing of small vessels in Wegener's granulomatosis will cause ulceration and sinusitis of the upper respiratory tract the second part of C passes through the lower respiratory tract so there will be granulomas in the lower respiratory tracts or lungs and these granulomas will eventually erode the bronchi now when these gran granulomas cause erosion of bronchi the inflammatory debris present inside the granulomas enter into bronchi and exits from there this leads to cavitation in lungs so in lungs you will find granulomas or cavitations at last this lower part of C passes through the kidneys so vaginous granulomatosis will cause narrowing of small vessels of kidney that are glomeruli 
this lesion will result uh, in focal segmental glomerulonephritis which can eventually progress to a more severe form which is called crescenteric glomerulonephritis so overall vaginal granulomatosis causes ulcerations or sinusitis in upper respiratory tract it causes granulomas and cavitations in lower respiratory tract and it causes focal segmental glomerulonephritis in kidneys now the third type of small vessel vasculitis is churg strauss syndrome and the keywords for this are necrotizing vasculitis with granulomas and eosinophils necrotizing means that there will be fibrinoid necrosis vasculitis denotes inflammatory cells and granulomas means there will be granulomatous inflammation with joint cells and eosinophils means the presence of eosinophils which is a unique feature now regarding small vessel vasculitis i would like to discuss one more important point you can see that vaginal granulomatosis in comparison to microscopic polyangiitis con con has one additional features of granuloma so vaginal granulomatosis is also known as granulomatosis with polyangiitis similarly the churg strauss syndrome has two features same as that of vaginal granulomatosis that are necrotizing vasculitis and granuloma but there is one additional feature that is presence of allergic inflammatory cells eosinophils so it is also known as allergic granulomatosis with polyangiitis